Will Alan get the black nebula carrots he was promised? Will the nibblings get the rainbow blend that planted in their honor? We'll find out. Hey, good morning. Welcome home to Mailer's Landing. I'm Sue. We are here in Growing Zone 6B in New England. And this morning I'm doing some pruning and deadheading and a little bit of weeding in anticipation um, for a party we're throwing this weekend for Pride. Everything has been in bloom. It's been a riot of colors for about a week now. Um, we've got these beautiful purples and pinks coming up everywhere. We had, we had big rain last night. It's been really soggy here. Rain came through and blew down most of these poppies, but if we get in here, you can see there's still more buds. I'm just gonna take off this guy and I'll take it off way down at the bottom down here, right there. We'll get more buds and consequently more blooms out of these. This is a spot I definitely need to clean out and I think that's gonna happen like today slash tomorrow. I gotta pick one of these days to just clean up all the plastic, including the greenhouse. No, no, don't look at the greenhouse. Um, but I wanna get this stuff, you know, there, there are still two elderberries over there that need to be planted. Yes, yes, I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. This volunteer here um, was the first thing that was coming up in this raised bed this year. So I'm taking it as an omen that we're gonna have carrots and check this out. It has rained so much in the last couple of weeks. So my carrot sprout stayed nice and damp and never dried out. We have tiny carrots coming up all over the place and I am so stoked. What does this mean for us? Will Alan get the black nebula carrots he was promised? Will the nibblings get the rainbow blend that planted in their honor? We'll find out. If I tell you that I am super pleased about the way the garden is coming together, it would be the understatement of the year. We do have some oddball stuff going on and I'll show you that. Uh, but for the most part, we are doing okay over here. I don't know what these are, but they're super pretty. And Bill picked them up at the farm store last week, so we got them in here. Yarrow is starting to turn pink. I believe this is red yarrow in here. No, I haven't gotten around to splitting it yet. I'll get there, I'll get there. Other blossoms of note. Hello, zucchini. Uh-oh, something has started nomming on the Brussels sprouts. I'm oh, gonna keep an eye on it. I don't see, maybe something just came down and had a few bites. Um, oh, no, you know what it is? This, uh, this zucchini has bitey bits. Oof almost like thorn underneath and I think it just rubbed up onto these and made holes because it's only seems to have holes where it touched these zucchini plants. All right, zucchinis are doing good. Everybody seems to be great in here. The cut and come again lettuce that I put in this tub is finally starting to bulk out. She happy. We're gonna start eating her soon. Remember we were looking at these beautiful calendula the other day and I was like, yo, what's going on there? I know what's going on there. What's going on here is that this has been pollinated and the seeds have started to form in there. And that's what all of these are. Calendula have these really cool C-shape um, serrated looking seeds. And I'm absolutely gonna let this um, just reseed, but I'm also harvesting calendula this year. I'm trying to get these just a little bit older than that. I want it to open up, so maybe I'll be able to bring that in this afternoon. And that will allow for all these other buds to get ready to open up. The woad is looking good. In spite of me, this chamomile is going on. I've stepped on the poor thing so many times. Good morning, Borage. Beautiful handful of yellow tomatillo blossoms. Yeah, these peas. All this beautiful pink and white. Look at that. And I saw peas this morning. Where did I see peas? Here they are. Here they are. 
We have our first piece coming in. This, I believe, is the um, Jillian's case load. These are all shelling peas on this side. I've got tall telephone peas and Jillian's case load on this trellis. This one is King Tut purple peas for the most part and down at the end, some more of the Jillian's case load. And these are all sugar daddy sugar snap peas in here. I'm gonna bet that this mystery allium is an elephant garlic. I was looking at the scape and I have, I have some distinct feelings. This looks more like the scape that you see on top of a leek than on top of a garlic. Um, and it, it, it's not an onion, it's more of a leek. So I believe I once upon a time lost a piece of elephant garlic in here. This is the garlic scape. And I can't remember, I think it's soft neck garlic you get the scapes and hard neck you don't, or I might have it backwards. Let me know if I've got it backwards. Um, but once it curls all the way around, and make sort of that shape, then I'll, then I'll harvest them and we'll bring them in. There are a whole bunch of things you can do with them. Garlic scapes are freaking delicious. Here's another one. I have been waiting for this. We've got strawberries and they are ripe. I don't wanna jinx it, but I think the red rock thing might've actually worked, at least for the moment. Let's go check these out. I thought I saw bird bites, but I don't. Oh my goodness, y'all, I can't speak it out loud. There appear to be strawberries uneaten among the rocks. Dude, and strawberries everywhere. I just let them kind of go wild, like behind the tub, down on the ground in front, off the side over the, there's, at some point I clipped between um, the mother plants and the new younger plants. Um, but that's that's all I did. There is so much fruit ripening on this and it is so cool. The birds pretty much always get here before I do. All right, let's see what we got. Look at that. All right, let's see what you're like. That is so sweet. That's like nothing I've ever bought in a grocery store. Mm. Happy summer, y'all. Obligatory apron shot. I've probably got about a dry pint of perfect sun ripened strawberries in my lap here. Uh, that I'm really looking forward to getting involved with. I'm gonna get these in and cool them off in some water. I did find a handful of damaged berries. These look um, less like bird than they do like chipmunk. And we certainly do have chipmunks around here. There's a nest over here of some of the tamest chipmunks I have ever encountered, which is not to say that they're like jumping in your laps or anything, but man, I worry about how close they get to stuff. You know, nobody here means them any harm. Um, so maybe they'll be okay. It's, this is what chipmunk damage looks like on this kind of stuff. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna throw it over the fence. Feed the chipmunks over there instead of in here. I know, I know it's wishful thinking, right? It's, it's really wishful thinking. There are entire weeks that wishful thinking has kept me afloat. So. I'm gonna feed the chipmunks outside the garden. So if, if nature is not eating out of your garden, you are probably doing something wrong. There's a lot of stuff that, that hangs out in the garden and does its thing. Most of them employ something that is beneficial to the soil and to the rest of the garden when they get in here. I mean, think about it. The ants loosen soil, the earthworms, oh, the earthworms make all kinds of business bioavailable and mushrooms in the mycorrhizal network underneath the soil. Again, it's fixing your dirt. Living soil is better. <laughs> there you go. That's the short form. TLDR, living soil is better. <laughs> These things in your garden that are breaking down the wood chips or disturbing the soil or 
Your weeds with huge tap roots that break up the soil, the worms and the bugs and the bacteria that make your nutrients bioavailable. You've already got stuff eating your garden. It's supposed to be that way, eating and feeding. We want that diversity. If I lose a handful of strawberries, that's cool. I'm sure the chipmunks have stuff that they do here. I'm really hoping somebody gets a plumbing certificate. With certified rodents, pay them in strawberries. I believe there's a deal to be made. Tremors like checking me out down here like, ooh, ooh, are there alfalfa pellets to be had? She has been doing so well, y'all. So very well. You're a very good girl. Oh, Lyric, you little clown. We, we climb mommy now. That's our thing. <laughs> Drummer has been doing so well with the stand. She comes out and has breakfast in the morning. And uh, we've gotten so far as to get her cleaned off. And then she's got, we had a, an incident with a big noisy bucket and hooves. So we're gonna back off on that for a minute. And then we'll go back to it with a smaller bucket. Auntie and niece are getting along much, much better lately. That was a good jump. Um, although, niece does have a tendency to torment auntie. And auntie is always up for biting niece. Hello, ma'am. I know we're talking about your sister and, and your baby. Don't, don't, don't eat the camera, honey. I'm out here by the Elfenblumen. Um, Elfenblume. Uh, in the shade garden, just hanging out. I'm thinking about where I'm gonna set what up. Um, and also, I have I have a skirt full of strawberries here. <laughs> and um, come look with me. And so this area behind us, up to the garden fence, is gonna be shady in the time that we're gonna have people out here. Um, Please, let's not be rainy till the evening. Um, so I was thinking about setting them up, setting up a couple of tables over there with some cloches on top of them, keep everything bug free. Um, I'm gonna do like mini knish and maybe some French toast sticks. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, I have another friend who's bringing over a frittata and a friend who's bringing over maybe some mimosas. It's gonna be a fun party. I'm really looking forward to this. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna set it up over there um, and then just put out chairs here and there. And that's when the camera died. <laughs> yeah, y'all ran out of storage. The last clip actually goes <laughs> which I've edited out for you. Thanks for hanging out in the garden today while I got stuff kind of figured out for what we're gonna do this weekend. Happy Pride. We'll catch you up soon. Take care. Okay, that's ridiculous, right?